If you've watched this channel, you know I make easy to follow videos on how to use your iPhone and iPad. And I focused a lot on the Apple Notes app. But here's the thing. I also use sticky notes. And the reason I do this is because they're just so handy, you know, and easy. And I can fold them up and stick them in my pocket. And my guess is you probably use sticky notes too, and for the same reasons I do. Well, Apple's Quick Notes is changing all of this for me, and it's all because of three clever tips that make all the difference. Hi, my name is Rich. Most of the videos I make are how-to videos, and I'd like to think most of them are pretty good, but today's video may be one of the most useful I've ever made. Making quick notes on my iPhone and then having them show up on my iPad is just too handy to ignore. And being able to take a quick note on my iPhone, regardless of where I am, just can't be beat. And since I lose every piece of paper upon which I write a note, or forget to put it in my pocket before heading to Home Depot, I need a bulletproof note system. Today, I'm going to show you how to organize your growing batch of quick notes for easy retrieval using folders, how to create an easy home screen shortcut to create a quick note, and it works on both your iPhone and iPad, and this may be the secret sauce of this video. And then lastly, how to use quick notes special linking features to make your quick notes more useful than ever. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first up is just getting the folder structure right so that you can organize your quick notes. It only takes a second to do, and let me show you how I've done that. If you go into the Notes app, you'll see that I've created a folder called My Quick Notes, and inside that folder, I've created three other folders entitled Videos, Reading, and Phone and Email. I'm going to create one more folder. I'm going to tap on that, and I'm going to just call this miscellaneous. And I'm going to click done. And then I'm just going to grab that folder and drag it into my Quick Notes folder like this. So now I've put it in there. So now I've got a folder entitled My Quick Notes, which you can create, and then you can create other folders and just drag them inside of there. So that's the folder structure. And I'm going to divvy up the quick notes I take into these folders. And that's going to help me find what I'm looking for. So now I've got the folder structure set. Up next is creating a shortcut to create a quick note. Okay, you can just swipe up from the right corner and create a quick note like that. And that's really the easy way to do it. And by the way, in order to do that, you need to have that set up. So if you go into settings, there's a couple of different places. If you have an Apple Pencil, you can tap on that. You can go down to the bottom and you can choose. Here I've got a screenshot set up on the bottom right corner. I've chosen Quick Note. And so now I've got that set. So now when I just swipe up, I can create a quick note that way. So that's a way to do that. But the problem is you can't do that on your iPhone. So there's no swiping up over here to create a quick note. You have to actually go into the Notes app and it's a thing. But a quick way around that is to create a shortcut using the Shortcuts app. So if we, and this is a very simple shortcut. So there's no programming you have to do. If we tap on the Shortcut app and we tap on the plus to create a new shortcut, and then we just go down to Notes over here. And we're going to just tap on Create a Note. And now I want to put that in the correct folder. So I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to find the folder. Here it is called My Quick Notes. And I'm going to tap on that. Then I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call it my quick note. Then I'm going to tap the little share button and I'm going to add it to home screen. I'm going to choose yellow so it looks like a note. Then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to search for note. And here I see the little scribbly icon so I'm going to tap on that. And now I'm going to click add. And now I've got a quick note screen. And if I tap on that, it'll pop up and I can create a new quick note that way. It doesn't look like it does when you pull it from the side. But this is not where I'm going to use that um, shortcut. 
I am going to drag that into the dock like this. Now it's down there. But I'm going to put that shortcut over on my iPhone because that's where it really needs to be. So if I go into the Shortcuts app there, I can see my quick note is already showing up. And I'm going to tap the three little dots there. And I'm going to go to Share. And I'm going to tap on Add to Home Screen. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it yellow, and I'm going to search for Note. I'm going to choose the Scribbly thing, and I'm going to click Add. And now I've got the Quick Note on the iPhone. And remember, you can't swipe and create a Quick Note. So now, if I put that down in my dock, anytime I need to create a Quick Note, I can just tap on that and type, you know, That'll be the title, phone, and then I'll put, and I'll create it just like that. And now I'm done, and it's created a note for me in my folder. If you go back over to your Notes app, and you go to My Quick Notes over here, you'll see the note that I just created right there. And so having a shortcut on your iPhone makes it very easy to add a quick note when you're out and about with your iPhone and you don't have your iPad. Okay, so now you've added the folders, you've got the folder structure in place, you've created a shortcut to create a quick note that you've got on your phone, so now you've solved adding a quick note on your phone, that issue is now gone. And now all you need to do is learn how to use those quick notes in a little more powerful way. So let me show you something. I'm going to go into Safari. And I'm in YouTube here. And let's say I want to look at this video on routers. And now I want to create a quick note. I can slide from the corner. I can tap on create a new one. And if you'll see, I can add a link right here. And if I tap on add a link, I've got the video 12 simple router trimmer hacks. And I'm going to click done. Now, if I go out of that and I go back to the Apple Notes app, in Quick Notes, not in my Quick Notes, but in Quick Notes up here, it's created it. And there's that video. And what I do is I take that note, I go down to my Quick Notes folder, and I just drag that into the videos folder. And now if I go there, I've got track of a video that I want to watch. And it's just an easy way for me. Every now and then I find a video that's really helpful and I want to kind of hang on to it. Because Lord knows once I look at it on YouTube and then a day later I can never find it. So now I just save the important videos that I want to see in my Quick Notes. And if I tap on it, the video itself will play right here in Apple Notes and I can watch it or I can tap on it and go back to it and watch the whole video from here. Now keep in mind that I'm using Safari for this. You don't have the ability to add a link from every single app, but there are a number of apps you can use that way. So let me show you. If I go to my calendar and I slide over to a doctor's appointment I have tomorrow and I scroll up for a quick note again and I tap on new note, I can now add a link for that doctor's appointment just like that. And if I click Done, and I go back to Apple Notes, I've now got a quick note over here for an appointment. And I can just drag that over into, let's say, miscellaneous. And now if I want to go back and see that doctor's appointment, and maybe I want to take notes on that doctor's appointment and save this to something even more important. Remember, you can always slide notes into other folders when they become important. But I can tap on that. It takes me right back to the appointment in my calendar. And that's just very handy. You can use that feature with just a few different apps, but I use it primarily for Safari and for Calendar. Again, if I go back to Safari, 
and I search for the Cincinnati Bengals and maybe there's a story on the Bengals let's say this one right here and this is something that I want to save and read later I can swipe up I can tap on new note I can tap on add link and now I've got the Bengals story there and when I tap done I go back into quick notes now again it's showing up here because we weren't using the shortcut there's the note and now I just drag that into my reading folder and now I've got a video folder where I keep track of videos I want to watch I've got reading in here and if I just tap on that it takes me right back to the bingo story and then most importantly because quick notes are a lot like sticky notes you don't need them forever and what I do is once I put them in here and maybe I've read that story I don't need to read it again so I just go in and delete it just like that slide over and it's gone and that's just an easy way to use quick notes particularly with your iPhone having this little shortcut down in your dock is so helpful when you're out and about and then once you've captured the note on your phone the ability to go to your iPad where you, again you can do it on your iPhone if you want but the ability to go back to your iPad and sort of organize those little sticky notes and use them in a way that makes sense to you is just a great little system so I've been messing around with this system for a bit and it seems to be sticking with me I hope this short tutorial at least stimulates your thinking on how you might better use Quick Notes. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.